White Dragon Legacy, Chapter 3, King Me. I mean, Checkmate. Why is chess such an anime cliche? One of these days, I want to see an anime to show up how cool it is by them playing Chinese checkers. Last time we beat the crap out of Dice Master. But, oh, wait, that's right, it's the intro. I'm like, no, this is like they opened the last episode. There's a reason for that. It's the intro. Eh, get it? Because it's a blue eyed shining dragon. While I'm here, I might as well state, uh, for those who don't know, uh, White Dragon Legacy Chapter 4 has been essentially delayed for a little bit. Basically, it's too cold to record because it's the middle of winter. So, yeah. <laughs> Perfectly fair and reasonable explanation. No one should have to get Frostbite to record a Yu Gi Oh! series. Jace! I remember Chaos Charge you being on the snow in your freaking t shirt and shit. You are an insane madman and have too much dedication sometimes. Sometimes it's unhealthy. Like freaking when Prez was face down in the snow wearing only an Iron Man mask and a t-shirt in the freezing cold of nights pretending to be freaking Zach Pies. And that man falling into an actual puddle. It's a children's card game, people. So let me see if I got this. They can only get any more props. So that girl not only defeated the Dice Master, but so you as well? I'm afraid so. Oh, oh Master, Master Bytha was afraid of this. She's grown she. strong with her power, and so is the blue eyes white dragon. He wants that twerp out of the action. Permanently. I thought Master Byathan wasn't afraid of anything. He fears only one thing, the light. You see, long ago he tried to resurrect the three sacred beasts to bring destruction to the world. But his plans backfired because of the White Dragon. Fearing this for when he returns, he sent out dragon hunters and then to find the Blue Eyes the White Dragon instead, card so that his care about wouldn't White repeat dragons. itself. I see. But what are you doing here? That Following happen, my master's orders. And once the girl is eliminated from the game and I'll take her Blue Eyes, that will be checkmate. Ha! You make it sound so simple. Dice Master was just as confident in his gambling gimmick, and look where that got him! You better be careful how you move your pieces, or you'll be the one in checkmates. I'm noticing a trend in these episodes. You're talking to the master. I can face here. this blue eyes rose. No, you can't. You're gonna be overconfident. Puh, please, I can't lose to her later in episode. I lost to her! The hell! Then again, every episode has a formula. Every TV series has a formula, I mean to say. Shroud and Snow from her mother's murderers. Next time I find him, I'll get the truth from him no matter what I have to do. Did you need to teleport in here? There, you, there was literally a door. How'd you get the thing wedged? I've been looking Sir, for this you. is cool. Take it you're one of Shroud's followers. Shroud's followers? No, no, Even no. Are we? The only person I follow is my master. I only follow his orders. You can literally but go, enough sir, about this that. is Starbucks. I'm here to partially avenge my fallen comrade. Does the name Dice Master ring a bell? Crooked Die Guy? Yeah, that name rings a bell. But soon you'll be joining him. Hmm. <laughs> We shall see about that. This guy even gets to lose that one guy from the second episode. I'll go first. I summon Inferno Queen Archfiend in attack mode. An Archfiend monster? Yes, and a special ability activates. I choose an Archfiend monster, and that monster gains 1,000 attack points. So now, Her Highness gains a total of 1,900 attack points! Don't forget, you have to pay 500 life points in your standby Activate pandemonium. to keep your Archfiend monsters on the field. Normally, I would. 
But with this card, I don't have to. I activate the field if spell Pandemonium. They're about to negate that cost. Thanks to this card, I don't have to pay the life point cost to keep them on the field. I'll end my turn, so that means Her Highness's attack points return to normal. About time. I set a monster face down. Then I set a card face down. That ends my turn. On the defensive, are we? I'll summon Genocide cool. King Archfiend! I can't no more summon this unless I have an Archfiend monster on my field. Now I activate my Queen's ability. I give Genocide King Archfiend 1,000 attack points. 3,000 attack points? Yes, and I will put those Strong points to ice. good use. Next, I'll activate the spell <laughs> Stop Defense. <laughs> The My monster's in attack mode! Stop defense switches your monster's position, whether it was face up or face down. Hmm, Elf yep. Swordsman, huh? Haha, <laughs> watch your Swordsman fall! Genocide King Archmeet, attack Elf Swordsman! Luck a storm! Reverse card open, Sakuretsu Armor! The monster that attacks nice. is instantly destroyed. You think so, huh? I activate Genocide King Archmeet's ability. I simply roll a six-sided die. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Oh, Deja guy. vu. I've had enough dice for one day, thank you very much. Hmm. I assure you, unlike the Dice Master, I play fair. I have no other dice on me. Now, as I was saying, I roll a six-sided die. If it lands on a two or a five, your cause effect is negated, and the battle You're happens normally. So let's get on with it. Looks like Sakuretsu armor is negated and destroyed. Too bad for you. Now, Genocide King Archbeat, continue your assault! Link's dead. They have another whole game, but oh, it is obnoxious after all. What the? It should have been destroyed! Why is it still on the field? You're right. And wrong about one thing. The monster is Elf Swordsman. But this monster is well, called Obnoxious Elf Japanese Swordsman, version three and it's Elf got a Swordsman. special ability. That's actually where we get the it name cannot be destroyed by from. any monster whose attack points is 1900 or more. Because of Celtic no Guardian. No matter. You still take battle damage because your monster was in attack mode. I set a card and <laughs> end my turn. So now my again. Genocide King Archmeet's attack points return to the door. Why do you even play this card? not strong enough to beat his queen, but not strong enough to defeat his king. First, I'll switch Obnoxious Elf Swordsman to defense mode. Next, Why I'll summon Possessed Bloodstone. Burn his queen to well, ashes. You might as well wreck the sword. Soul Sharding! Right here, I'm not the one that has the blue eyes like dragon. Because my Archbeam is destroyed, Pandemonium allows me to add one Archbeam monster from my deck to my hand, as long as its level is lower than the monster that was just destroyed. Three, I set a four. card face down. Mm. That ends my turn. Not bad, but not good enough. Genocide King Archbeam, attack possess Bloodstone! <laughs> Reveal Mitizuri. When my monster is destroyed, I can destroy yours as well. Hmm. Not if my die has anything to nope. say about it. Ha! <laughs> that means Mitizuri's effect will not be negated. No, it has anything to say about it. Looks like your dice is like it. Shut up. Genocide King Archfiend is destroyed. A minor setback, but luckily I have this ready just in case. I activate the effect of my desperate mm -hmm. Archfiend from my hand. I send this card to the graveyard, and then... Your monster revives. <laughs> you know how this affects. He's back? Nice to me. That's right. Just don't with play Archbeam, let's me resurrect my genocide King Archbeam from my graveyard. And now Pandemonium's effect activates once again. I get to add another Archbeam monster from my deck to my hand. That ends my turn. My turn. I play Pot of Greed. 
To make a move like that, it's no match against my genocide king. Archfiend. Wasn't even a series. Yeah, never mind. With Since my life points are lower than yours, my monster's attack is doubled. Attack genocide king Archfiend. Soul burning. Nice. <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that. I activate Desperate mm. Archfiend's effect once again. I'll send it to the graveyard to bring Genocide King Archfiend back. Can I stay dead? I'm getting my ass kicked. I'll end my turn with a face down. It's my turn. <laughs> I sacrifice my first. Genocide King Archfiend to summon a fresh new hell okay. from the deepest shadows. Come forth. Skull, Archfiend of Lightning! He's totally just summoning Skull. And you know what? Summon Skull looks cool, so this guy looks cool by plus. Now my Archfiend attack! And since he's attacking right now, I activate the Quick uh -oh. Play spell, Ego Boost! I choose a monster who's attacking on my field, and he gains an additional 1,000 attack once. points. Attack with Imperial Shockwave! Well, she's been in the series. Vice it! You've lost this duel! Once I get rid of your swordsman, I'll attack your life force directly, and that will be checkmate! I'll place this card face down, and await your demise! I don't draw the right card. This game will be over for me. First, I place a card face down. Then I play the spell Ooh. Card of Demise. It's the anime version. It lets me draw until I have five cards in my hand. Don't forget that on your fifth standby phase, you must send oh, all the no. cards in your hand to the graveyard. I know that, but this duel will be over before it happens. Next, I play cost down. By discarding now one card from my hand to the graveyard, all of the monster's levels that are in my hand are reduced by two. I love when the dueling say you basically always discard your monster who's gonna summon with cost off cost down anyway. To summon blue eyes, what hey, blue eyes, it's been an episode or two. Even if you destroy my heart's feet with your strongest monster, I'll still be in the game. Hmm? Are you sure? First, I play the spell block attack. Now I can switch your monster from so? attack to defense mode. Not so fast. My arse face is going to activate. I will die, and if it's a 1 3 or 5, your card is negated and destroyed. Two. Well, so I'll close it so far. Now! Uh, it doesn't matter. I still won't lose like this to the dragon! True, but that'll change once I activate this. Trap now she'll take now she'll take more damage. Rage. Now, when my dragon attacks your monster in defense mode, the difference between my monster's attack points and your monster's defense points are dealt to you as damage. Go ahead! A mere 1800 points of damage won't scare me! Blue Eyes White Dragon, attack Skull Archfiend of Lightning! Burst Stream of Destruction! Sorry, but my Skull Archfiend won't be going anywhere! Reveal face down! What? Go! Command Silencer! Time for you and your dragon to face the, the music! Draw, draw one card. I'm sure there's an inside joke I don't get. <laughs> Thanks to my command silencer, your dragon's attack has been stopped. Next I get to draw a card! Hmm. Perfect. Acts of despair. On my next turn, I'll switch my skull Archfiend of Lightning to attack mode. Then you quit Acts of Despair to my Archfiend, giving it 1,000 attack points for a total of 3,500. Not only that, but I also have a Monster Reborn card in my hand. I'll use it to bring back Genocide King Archfiend, and use both of my Archfiends to finish her off and end in this duel. Looks like your plan to win this duel has backfired. Your dragon's onslaught has ceased, 
and with no other monsters on your field, you have no choice but to end your turn. I was hoping you would do that. What? You, you what? That's a... Uh... Double or nothing. Since my attack is negated, I can attack once more. Even if you manage to destroy my archmage, I won't lose too many life points. Looks like I'm still in the game. Not exactly. Thanks to Double or Nothing, my dragon's attack points are doubled until the end phase. So you have to do it. Yes, this is checkmate. Blue Eyes, finish him off! You would have been better off if you didn't do it. No wonder my master wants to defeat you. You are a persistent duelist. Who is your master? Tell me! All right. Not that you'll live to see the day anyway. I serve Master Viathan. Master Viathan, not the law. Yes, he'll stop at nothing to obtain your blue eyes white dragon. Why does he want my dragon? Is he responsible Probably. for my mother's death? Sorry, but this interview is over. See you in hell. He didn't even get a dramatic backstory. Did he even get a name? Damn it. He's close to figuring out this mystery. Shroud, you better have answers. I'm coming for you next. Shroud be like, everyone's always coming for me. It'll be you. It's a much shorter episode. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to promise the last one, but hey, you know what? It's fine. You can answer me back with this stuff. Good to care to everyone. Still an enjoyable episode. I'm glad you did that and all that stuff. <laughs> Command silence. It's a little bit of a fake. Dip, double up chunks.